Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Chief Lego Fanatic. Uh, today we are going to be doing a review of two sets. Uh, we have the Super Mario 64 question mark block and we have the Nintendo Entertainment System. All right, so before we break into this uh, real quick, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, so on and so forth so that we can keep the channel growing and keep this train rolling. All right, so we have two sets to look at today. We have the Super Mario 64 question mark block. Uh, it is set number 71395. Uh, it's 2,064 pieces. Um, it was just released in 2021, so relatively new set. And the other one we have is the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's set number 71374. Uh, 2,646 pieces and uh, was released in 2020. Um, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure, I know this one is, but I'm pretty sure both sets are still available for purchase uh, on the Lego store. So shop.lego.com, so on and so forth. But uh, let's, uh, let's dive into these two sets and uh, look at them up close. All right, first off, here we have uh, the question mark cube. Uh, now it looks pretty plain. Uh, obviously you can see the question marks. There's question marks on each side. It's like, ah, uh, so whatever. Big deal. What's, what's the big deal? Well, as you can see, it has a couple of little hidden secrets in here. So I'll bring this up a little bit closer. So you can see it's got a little Bowser. So you can take Bowser out. He's actually super detailed. So you can see his hat. It's got some horns uh, on the back. You can see his shell. It's actually really well designed. Uh, There's a couple of dozen pieces to make up Bowser. Uh, they even have his feet. Um, then with this is, you push down right here. There's a little, little lever. And it pops open this bottom part. And it's kind of hard to see. Uh, the light's not super great. I'll turn this to the side. But there's a kind of little plate here with some gears. Um, and it's got a hook on here where you can put Mario, and I'll, you'll, you'll see Mario here in a few minutes, uh, and Bowser and kind of have them chase each other around. So uh, that's a neat little detail that they added. Close this up. Oh, didn't mean to do that yet. All right. All right. Let me see what, show you what the big secret is. All right, now we have the top of the block. It's just yellow, right? It's actually really neat how they did some of these pieces. Um, but when you release this back part, it's just a door that opens. You see, it's just a little door here. There's some rubber bands that help pull it closed. It actually unfolds and from inside. get these little Mario worlds all right so these are meant to symbolize the different worlds and whatnot that you explore while playing Super Mario 64 as you can see here they've got a little uh, sewer pipe which Mario uses to travel around this is only three pieces this here and it looks just like Mario uh, really, the only custom piece was the centerpiece has kind of a mustache drawn on it. Um, there's, there's also no decals in this uh, set, thank God. Um, so you got a little Mario. Uh, over here, you got a little Princess Peach. This is the princess's castle, which does kind of open. This piece in the front comes off, so you can see some of the detail in the back. Um, not really any detail in the back of this, but you can see some of the detail on the inside. this back on here all right let's look at the other ones all right here we have kind of the the ice world uh, as you can tell there's little penguins there's two of them this one even has a piece that looks like feet kind of neat um, you can circle it around on the back side you can also oh no I'll fix that second uh, you can see the little sides going down the side of the ice uh, this piece, if I remember correctly, comes off. 
Um, you can see some of the, the little booby traps and whatnot that you go through in the game. So, it's extremely, extremely well detailed. Alright, let's look at the last one. Alright, I said this was the last one. It's not actually the last one, but that's alright. Uh, so here you have all of the like the chain guys. I, I don't remember what they're called. But as big of a fan as I was of uh, Mario when I was a kid, I should know this. Um, but you got the walking bomb again. Only little custom pieces. They drew this little mustache on it. Uh, Chompas. Chompas, I think. Uh, they have these little cannons. These are pretty neat. And you aim them at each other. Um, and really it's just a lot of um, forest area details because... That's the um, the area that it is meant to um, represent. All right, now we're gonna look at the last one. All right, so the last one is a little harder to, to actually really look at because it's kind of hidden. Uh, but it's this area down here below where uh, Princess's Castle is. Um, this is meant to be like a fire area. Uh, there's some volcanoes. There's like a floating eyeball. There's a little printed piece with Bowser on it. Um, again, just really smart detail with done with relatively little pieces or relatively few pieces they're little too but relatively few pieces all right now let's uh look at one of my favorite sets the nes all right so here we have the original nes set now this is the set that i grew up playing video games on uh, i remember being in kindergarten this was like my reward for getting really good grades when i was in kindergarten um, as you can see, it comes with two different, really two different sections. Uh, you have the NES itself, which comes with a controller and a game, which we'll go into more detail here in a second. And then it comes with a TV that's actually displaying uh, one of the original Mario levels for uh, Super Mario Brothers. All right, so here we have the NES itself. Uh, starting here, you can see that it actually has the original controller. Obviously, it's not functional, but my old hands remembers how to actually operate this. Uh, so the A and B buttons, you have the, the four-way control pad, and then start and select. Uh, all of these are pre-printed, uh, there's, so there's no decals that you have to put in. Uh, this would be a lot of decals, so all these little corner pieces, um, this one, these here. Um, it's you know black and gray, just like the original controller was. Um, there's a tube here that actually works kind of like the wire of the original controller. Uh, now the controller actually does connect in, obviously. It doesn't look exactly the same, because it's Lego, but it's pretty darn close to what the original controller looked like. I don't know why I plugged that back up. All right, so on the front, you have your power button and your reset. That has a little light here, it shows that it was actually on. Um, you know, Nintendo Entertainment System. This is the cartridge compartment where you put the cartridge in. Don't want to open it yet, because it's kind of a surprise. Um, players one and two, so you hook up the two controllers. And then a really neat detail is on the side and the back. A couple of cobblers because it's been in my garage as well. Um, they actually show the audio and video connects. Uh, any old people like me who remember that you actually had to use audio video cables. Um, and then on the back, uh, there was a reset. That was where like the power plugged in. Um, this is where the cable would connect in. If you were uh, using just a regular cable connector. Uh, or coax cable rather. So, <laughs> a lot of... A lot of detail and love put into this set. And you can even see the, the vents on the top. All right, so the inside. So the cartridge compartment opens up. It opens up all the way. And then there's a game cartridge inside. Now, it's even like the original system. Now, you didn't actually have to do this in order to play a game, but uh, you would depress the game into the, into the system and then you would push it again to have it come back up. It, it had moved a little bit, that's so why it didn't work properly. Um, yeah, this thing actually has you build a game cartridge. I think this is one of the only, or these are only the, the only two decals that are in this entire set. Um, yeah, it's the original Super Mario's brother cassette. Uh, it even shows where the connectors would be. And any old timers like me know you had to blow into it to make it work properly. Um, yeah, it actually comes with that. You can push it in. You can Push it down, it stays. Push it again. In theory, it comes back up. It's been sitting on my shelf for a while, so it's probably not working absolutely properly. Anyways, 
still, a lot of love and detail. Uh, it's very obvious that the, the designers love the original set. All right, so now let's look at the other half of it, the TV. All right, so here we have the TV portion of the set. Uh, for young people, you probably don't realize how TVs in the 80s and early 90s actually looked. Uh, obviously, they don't look anything close to what they were or what they do now. Uh, you actually had light knobs, uh, so you had your channel selector, which this actually turns and clicks. Uh, your on-off switches, your dimness, your brightness, your your contrast. Like you just use knobs to change all that stuff. And if you notice, there's actually a little decal here that says low tech. Um, before we had cable internet, we had antennas. So this one actually comes with. Uh, I'll take it off the stand so you can see it. Uh, it actually comes with an antenna. Get those nice over the air you ever wonder about the uh, where the phrase airwaves came from well that's where the phrase airwaves come from because that's where you had to get your tv from um and as you can see um there's actually a game here um it's one of the original super mario brothers levels and there's a little knob here on the side see it right here you turn it and mario actually moves um, basically what it is, is there's a, a reel that works around the inside uh, that just has the scene in it. Uh, and there's a lot of real neat details here. You can see all the different colors for the clouds and the sewer pipe and the sky. You got the Goombas. The gear got stuck. No, it doesn't want to turn. Oh well, I'll fix it. Um, yeah, so lots of super detail. Uh, again, whoever designed this was uh, definitely a fan. And on the back, so again, you can see the antenna. Um, you can see where the uh, audio and visual cables would go, where the coax would plug in. Uh, notice it's a CRT TV, so cathode ray tube. So it's not a flat screen uh, for the young people. There actually used to be this giant box in the back of the TV, and that's what allowed it to work. So uh, that's the NES set. Oh, let me give you my thoughts on them. So we looked at both of these sets. Uh, again, I'm pretty certain that both of them are still available to be, available to be purchased on the Lego store, uh, shop.lego.com. Maybe I can get them to sponsor me at this point. Um, but I really loved both of these sets. Um, this one, uh, even being a 2000 piece set, took me like two and a half, three hours to finish. I don't remember how long this one took. This was actually one of my original build videos that didn't turn out so well. Um, but it was still a lot, a, a lot of fun to build, especially for somebody who, like me, is very nostalgic. Um, this was my childhood. This was extreme. This made me extremely happy when I came out with this set. Uh, I didn't play the N64 as much. Usually, if I was playing Mario, I was playing Mario Kart and blowing up people, uh, blow, well, blowing up their balloons on the uh, the battle uh, stages. But I really like both of these sets. Uh, I'm gonna give both of them a nine out of a ten. Um, yeah, uh, now I gotta figure out where to put. Well, I know where this one goes. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put that one so that I can actually display it. Um, my next video is most likely gonna be building. Um, what's his name? I forgot it earlier today, too. Easier if I just go pick it up. Oh, it's Boba Fett. I thought that they did this as the, the other character. Um, but I have Boba Fett Slip Throne Room. Uh, you guys can see it there. Uh, this set just came out on March 1st. Uh, I actually just got it in, uh, shipped in today. Um, so I'm looking forward to building that. If you're a fan of Book of Boba, Boba Fett or Mandalorian, uh, I'm sure that you guys would likely enjoy it as much as I will. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.